Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. But apparently not for long. Just got a honey-do list from Mary. I got some stuff I need to do outside. But you know what? Ha! Huh. I got things I want to do outside and things that I can show you while I'm doing it. And one of them things is this guy. Yep, got me something from Shrade. Yeah, the shovel saw combo. It wasn't cheap, but hey, got to try it out. And one of the chores I got to do for Mary is, well, using this sort of stuff. So let's check it out. Here we are in the South 40, and one of the chores that Mary insisted I do is get rid of this wood, which means I've got a lot of burning to do. Before I do that, though, one of the other chores is, well, got to get rid of all of that. My fire ring's getting full. Winter's coming, I'm going to be burning more, a lot more fires outdoors in the winter. I like sitting out in the snow and building a fire. So I've got to get rid of that. But, fortunately, like I said, I just received this. Yep, the Schrade Shovel Combo System. Like I said, it was a little pricey, but I wanted to check it out. I do own another one that's in my car all the time, but I wanted one that I can take camping with me. Let's have a look at it. See, here it is here in the box. It says Schrade, and it says Shovel Saw Combo, the Frontier Series. And it's from American Outdoor Brands Corporation. They own Schrade. And as you can see here, we have instructions. No, nope. it tells me what comes with it. A shovel, zero to seven centimeter ruler, rope cutter, three eighths hex drive and eight millimeter hex drive. Must be common sizes. Bottle opener on it, chopping blade, it's a shovel and a serrated blade. A fishing kit, compass, a ferro rod and a whistle, the saw and the glass breaker on the handle. And here you can see, shows you everything comes with it and it comes in this pouch and inside oh wow wow that's quite a set of teeth look at that heavy I can tell you it's thick look at the thickness on that and it says shred on it you can see it there the handle see it there with a compass on the back and this is where it what's that this is where it must screw on. So that screws on there. The most important part, right? The shovel. Wow. Smaller than I thought it would be. And there's the zero to seven millimeter ruler. You can have the serrated edge here, the chopping edge, bottle opener, your hexes, and it screws on. There you can see it there. Smaller than I thought it would be. It's got some weight, it's thick, it's heavy duty. So we have the pouch and it does have a belt loop on it so you can carry it in your belt. And it's gonna be a little heavy, it's a little big, it's gonna take up some room in the pack. It could eliminate a lot of the other stuff. We looked at the shovel, you can see it there. I'll be giving you the dimensions and everything down at the bottom here. They say six and a half inch shovel. Huh, it's heavy duty. And then you've got your saw blade seven just over seven and a half inches i gotta tell you though look at those teeth that's some nasty teeth on there both push and pull i suspect the handle here it's aluminum i know that and it has the compass on there pretty sure that'll screw off and it has the glass breaker there it is there you can see there i don't have any glass to break so you have a glass breaker on it and it's underneath a very basic compass does it work well, it says north is moving, moving, moving. That away. That's north. That's south. Close enough. These are pretty common basic compasses. You see a lot of them around. And they've got this on the top here. And I suspect this might be the ferro rod. I think. We've got this tube. Must be something in the tube. Oh, well, that came apart. Huh, this just sits in there. Like that tube opens, and in the tube we have fishing kit. Never really thought these to be too handy. This has uh, two hooks in it, two different sizes. 
one a little bit smaller than the other, some fishing line and two little weights. You see that? So that rolls up in here. And that went in here. I went, oh, ha, picked. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah, see that? I'm going to put that back on. You don't take that off. You want to leave that on there. I, I assume. And there's another threaded piece. And there you go. The ferro rod. And that, oh, look. So the, the actual ferro rod will unscrew, which is probably a good thing because I'm sure you'll be able, to be able to get a replacement if it breaks or something like that. That screws out as well. So there you have your ferro rod. It's not big, it's not huge, and the whistle. That's not bad. It's not a bad whistle. So that screws into the cap that has this on it and the glass breaker all in one on that that's pretty nifty so that goes back in there so, uh, I like that this I, I will say this handle does feel sturdy even though it's aluminum time to test it right there it is. got to get rid of the ash then we'll chop up some wood start a fire Oot. put it in this bag so we've got the shovel. This is not hard, but hey. Well, it digs a hole. The ground's not that hard, but it gets in there okay, through the roots and everything. Probably enough to make a fire hole if you're outside and you want to keep your fire safe. Or, you know, bury the unmentionables, you know. The shovel works. Like I said, it's not very big, but how big a shovel do you want to be carrying around out there? The handle's okay. This gives you a little bit of grip, not a lot. But enough, I want to try this and do some chopping with it. Handle's still on there solid. So before I start chopping and cutting things, you know me, I need protection. I'm my worst enemy. <laughs> Gloves, always a good idea. Safety first. We want to see if this thing will do some chopping. So I found a couple of random pieces of wood I'm going to chop. Let's see what happens. What is the serrated edge for? I don't know, maybe it chops better. What do they say? It just says it's a serrated blade. Chop up some wood here. I got smaller and will work up. I'm gonna try the serrated blade. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, it gets through that. Let's go a little bigger. Wow. Try this blank edge. Wow. Ooh. Into my table. Huh. Bigger is better. Oh, this is really dry. Feels like it's coming loose. I'll have to watch that. Got through it. That works a lot better, that serrated. Huh. They do say that this is a chopping edge though. I mean, it chops. This is not a very good piece of wood. Let's try this one. This looks a little bit harder. Oh, went in there. I'm going back to the serrated edge. Oh yeah, that works way better, that serration. Well, it chops. 
Will I be chopping anything bigger than this? Probably not. That's big enough, thick enough to make a shelter with or something. Not bad. And the handle did seem to feel like it came a little loose. I mean, it, was, it wasn't obvious. I could just feel it clicking in my hand. This, eh, I could feel it sliding in my hand when I was swinging it. Eh, it's not big. I think I might want to put something on there though. Maybe some sports tape or something. I want to go to the source. Just screws on. There you have it there. It's pretty long. Let's cut a piece of wood. Yeah, it is a push-pull. Sticking a lot. Maybe if I stand up and push down. There we go. Well, still. Yeah, this slips. I don't like that. I can't get a good grip on it, and it's catching. If you look, the teeth are not sticking out. The sides. So it doesn't give you any clearance between the cut. Might be a problem. I mean, it's cutting through the wood. You can see that but it sticks. Yeah. See that? Uh, this doesn't work. You know, I have to say that's a fail. It's kind of disappointing. If you see what I mean, when you look down the length of the blade, there's no, the teeth, there's no spread on the teeth. You see that? They don't stick out the sides. So what's happening is it's getting, it's rubbing on here is a problem. My hand's slipping on the blade, like on the, the handle. Uh, let's try some more. I'm not willing to give up on it just yet. Kind of typical for this area, so. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. first for me that's that's really disappointing I didn't notice that at first but now it's obvious there's no way to fix it the blade idea the teeth uh, the teeth have to have that angle on them to give you the clearance on the blade disappointing very disappointing I mean, worst comes to worst, you have a good shovel that chops. This is probably the most expensive part of it. I wonder if they have other blades. Oh my. Well, we persist. So we have a fail on the saw. Disappointing, very disappointing. All right, let's see if the fire starter works. I wonder if we can uh, do some woodworking with the shovel. Let's give that a try. It's not a very good piece, but we'll give it a try. Let's see. I want to use that serrated edge. That work, worked well, so. paranoid about this. <laughs> hmm. Wood's not very good, but I mean you can shape things with it, make a spike put it in the ground. You hammer it in. Maybe the, no. <laughs> the, saw, the saw can't be a hammer. Well, what do you do? Let's see if we can. It's just, well, it chops fine. The serrated edge. It's the only good thing I can find out about it right now. Let's start a fire.
So we're going to start a fire. I just put a little bundle of sticks there and see if we can get it to light. Ferro rod here. Make sure it's on tight. I'm going to feather a stick and we'll try the ferro rod. I doubt if I'll start anything. It's really too windy and I don't really have anything good to start it with. But I'll use my old bear here to make a feather stick quickly. Maybe we can just use a lighter. The horror. <laughs> the old go-to. Wow, that's really ugly. And horrible. <laughs> oh well, what do you do? Okay, I want to see if this works. So before I do that, you've got to get the black protection off. Let's see. Yeah, it sparks, but it's nothing to write home to mom about. Let's see if we can light this. Probably not. keeps coming loose. Huh. Oh well. So I want to get some of the ferro rod down there and maybe we can get a big spot and jump start it. Nearly. Well, it actually lit that, but it burnt out, so it strikes, but it keeps coming loose. Uh, I think I have a lighter. I always, yeah, always carry a right lighter. Let's get the fire going. I need to burn some wood. I just remembered the other day we went on a walkabout and Lee gave me a piece of fat wood and I threw it in my, I threw it in my pouch for my knife. Well, yay for Lee and his fat wood. <laughs> I would have frozen to death in winter. Well, that was a struggle. And the wind's picking up, which means I can't burn this wood today. It's too dangerous. We've been had a really dry season, so I won't be able to burn wood today. Mary's gonna be disappointed. <laughs> this, a big disappointment. I can't believe this. There's absolutely no angle there to get away from the outside. So basically the thickness of the blade, and it's a nice healthy blade, which is probably the, what the cause is, they couldn't bend these. Very disappointing, especially on my budget. It wasn't cheap. I have to say this is a fail. You know, I can't believe Shrey didn't know that. That surprises me. How much did I pay for it? Brace yourself that much. Might not sound a lot to you, but on my budget, that's quite a hit for something that don't work. I really liked the way it looked, and when I pulled it all apart, it was well made. I mean, it's, it's solid. Everything's solid, but this blade is no good. I'll have to find out if they have different blades, because this one don't work. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. We got the fire going, we chopped up some wood to the shovel. This part, I have no problem with. And the fire stick, this wasn't a good day to test it, but it sparked fine, you saw that. I just couldn't get the wood to light. I have no problem with it, just this. You know, at this point, I can just throw this away or make something else to go on you or find a blade that will fit. Don't forget now, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again soon with something else.
Hopefully something that works. Thanks for watching, and you will be safe out there. Even with things like this, it has sharp and shiny pieces to it. Just saying. You all take care now.